<laughs> hey you guys welcome and welcome back i'm asha nicole aka the dope lady try to ignore that noise that's the dryer it's uh, beyond my control right now um <laughs> we're gonna do an oracle reading and then we'll tap in and see if we can get anything else out but um first we're gonna tap into the angel god messages and then we'll go from there so give me me Hey, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So get in here and we're doing an oracle, an oracle message today. I know some people be like, what's the difference between tarot and oracle? There's a difference, okay? <laughs> so let's see. We got courage and bravery. This is giving me uh, fire energy. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, being brave and courageous to go for it for the things that you love, the things that you want to do, knowing that you're shielded and protected by the Most High, okay, as you go along this journey, as you go towards the, the things that you are passionate about, okay? Let's keep going. And yeah, raise your vibration here. Raise your vibration. And then let's see. There was one that came out, but I accidentally just put it back in there and I don't know which one it was. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Signs and reminders. So you guys, you guys are being guided at this time. You're, you're being encouraged to be be brave, to have faith, okay? Um, trust in the divine. Trust in the things that you cannot see at this time and know that things will be worked out in your favor, okay? You're being sent signs and reminders. You could be seeing feathers. Okay, butterflies, um, different birds and things like that. I've, saw, I've seen two butterflies today. Okay, so just know um, you're being reminded by the universe that you are loved, okay? I'm getting root chakra energy, something, you know, this is about what you're connected to, okay? Let's see, let me keep going. Let's get some New Orleans Oracle. Share your gifts with people. Share what you're passionate about with other people. Okay? Do what you love to do. That could help raise your vibration as well. So let's see. What's going on here? Oracle reading for my positive energy views. You have growth here. So something's changing in your life. You're, you're birthing something new. You guys are growing something. Let's see. Let's keep going. Look, body balance. So you guys could definitely be doing something here. You could be a Libra, dealing with a Libra. Okay, or have that highly aspect in your chart somewhere. And then we have step back. So something's hmm. we're gonna tap into those. We'll see. There's something that you need to step away from. This this is some kind of learning experience for you here. I don't know why I'm being told to read the learning to y'all. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do as I'm told. Read the learning. Okay, y'all. Let me get it together. <laughs> Okay, it says, the more you know, the more you realize how much there is left to learn. You are currently in a learning and growth cycle that will lead you in the direction you desire. During this time, you will be more aware of patterns and synchronicities, especially within yourself. Although you might be tempted to tell yourself that you already know, there is a difference between understanding something on the intellectual level and understanding something on an emotional or intuitive one. There are many times that knowing something intellectually gets confused by truly getting it, right? So to understand something in its entirety, it is necessary to have both the willingness to process and acceptance at every level, okay? It is okay to feel like you are repeating certain experiences or emotions. It is through this process that you gain more clarity and healing. It is important to be patient with yourself and others during this process by stepping back and taking an objective approach when assembling, excuse me, when assessing all of the different aspects in your life so that's why this is saying take a step back okay because there's something here um 
it's, it's saying be patient with yourself. Is what this, this body balance is too. Okay, so be patient with who you are and what you're going through right now. I feel like some of us can get ahead of ourselves. Sometimes we kind of rush. We be feeling like, you know, I got to get this done now because of the societies and things that are around us. We're at our own pace. You know, we're not going to reach the goals as fast as Marcus and Sarah are, you know. Sabrina been working at this for 10 years. You just started two years ago. So you're not going to be as advanced as Sabrina. But that don't mean stop, you know. So let's keep going. That was good. Let's keep going. Let's get some African goddess rising. This is for my positive energy dope viewers. Oracle messages for my positive energy dope viewers. Let's see. We have creativity. Yeah, there's something that you're definitely um, working on here. We got the seven sisters here. You're being enlightened about something. Man. I want to read that to y'all. I'm going to just read it. I'm going to just read this to y'all. I don't know. Why not, all right? We got creativity, seven sisters. Let me see if I can find it. It's number 12, right? All right. It says, create, create, create. You come from conjurers and creators. Your blood remembers. Use your gifts. I told y'all to share your gifts. Use your gifts to multiply your magic. You are a cosmic creatrix, creatrix and creative force. You are a divine nation within one person. How creative do you allow yourself to be? I told you. I told you, break out of your comfort zone and into your creative fertility. Fertility. Does she look pregnant with something, birthing something, something creative, something new? Okay. You have the power to create planets. So yes, you are a creative. No one else's opinion matters. Let your inner child play to awaken your creativity. Creating is birthing, is manifesting. I am a creative visionary. So say that I am a creative visionary okay and you're on the birth of something new there's something growing inside of you okay you just got to give yourself some grace like i told you thank you for that confirmation holy spirit i love when the spirit comes through and gives the confirmation of what i was intuitively giving y'all from those other cards so let's continue african goddess rising for my viewers and we have truth so also be truthful with yourself and others speak your truth allow the truth to set you free here allow the reflection of the true reflection of who you are to embrace you okay i might have said that backwards but embrace the true reflection of who you are here see the world's the world as you see it may not be the same see how it was different even though it's the same lady see the way that we see ourselves is differently so let me read that one to you as well that's number um 34 okay get real what is your truth truth telling matters being able to hear the truth matters just as much tell the truth each person has their own version speak yours words have impact remember that we all have triggers think before you speak and listen with compassion be gentle and stay calm in the truth telling conversations the truth is my friend okay the truth is my friend i love that so speak speak your truth you know be exactly what i just said when i got the card so let me keep going let me get one more let's see one more for my positive energy viewers thank you we have grounding yeah so there may be some grounding needed okay you maybe need to um center yourself okay get yourself back into the plane that you need to be in go outside uh maybe meditate okay um drink some tea or something get get grounded within nature all right take your shoes off walk in the grass do maybe some kind of spiritual bath or something like that let's read that one this is giving empress energy too so we have protect your magic your heart is your own your body is your own your mind is yours your truth and story are your own be rooted in your truth so this one talks about truth as well so as you confess to yourself and speak truth to yourself and others and live in your truth, that's how you become grounded, okay? It says be rooted in your truth. Create healthy boundaries. We talked about creation. All right? Your energy is unsteady. Breathe. Come into the present. Say it loud. I am here. Trauma, stress, overwhelm, anxiety, and fear disconnect you from your body. Grounding keeps you present. 
When you feel rootless or unsettled, come back to your breath. Meditation and breath work are grounding. Try earthing, connecting your feet to soil, just as I just told you. Free riding, clapping, stumping, and rubbing your hands together are all grounding. So you can literally just rub your hands together. You know how some people get ready, like, ooh, yeah, I'm getting ready. Yeah, that's grounding. You're getting yourself, you're centering yourself back. Or you can clap your hands. Or you can stump your feet, okay? Or you can take your shoes off and go outside, okay? And walk in the grass. So this is what you'll be guided to do here. That's going to help bring your body um, back into balance, you guys. Let's continue. Let's keep going. Let's get some metaphysical oracle. Let's get that. Since we're doing the oracles, let's go. This is for my positive energy viewers. We have nurture here. Excuse me, nature. This is my shoot the shot card. This is my go ahead and do what you, you know, what you want to do. It's almost giving me this kind of energy too as well, okay? But this is my go ahead, you know, your natural things that you love to do. Do those. I almost want to read that to y'all too. Let's see. This, so this man is left-handed, like me. Yay, hey lefties. Um, Osusi is known as the magician of the forest. He's shooting left-handed. He stands tall, drawing back an arrow on his bow. At his feet are forest plants, including the sacred cannabis plant. He teaches that plants offer spiritual cleansing through herbal baths, jewelry, and remedies that can show us collectively and individually what the future may hold. His body is sculpted as a hunter and tracker with bright blue accents on his melanated skin. The tips of his arrows are blue like lapis lazuli, along with the feather and entire crown. Nature will provide symbols at every turn for you to gain more insight. Exactly what I was thinking, like, you know, just more getting, this is like the grounding card here. Getting, getting grounded, okay? Shooting your shot at the universe, okay? Let's see. Taking aim for what's yours, for what you want, okay? Let's see what else comes up. You keep getting a bunch of time, but let's see. Let's see here. My positive energy. I'm gonna take these because you're getting two at a time. I'm gonna have to go in with it. We have gratitude and pay attention. So have gratitude for the things that you you have right now, and pay attention to what's going on around you because I feel like the universe is calling you to become centered and and get grounded so that you can properly manifest the, the things that you want okay i'm gonna go ahead and read gratitude or ziki dabaran so um this is reminding you that each event in your life could be a blessing maybe you just got through your dark night of the soul and this card is reassurance that the sun is shining that you are loved guided and protected in all ways always okay if this card has come to your spirit ask yourself how do i react to change do i meet opportunities when presented with them or do i make excuses to resist the change so this right here is saying to have gratitude are you you know taking the opportunities that you're presented right and then we have pay attention here so let's look at that one Pay attention. Where have you been angry or filled with rage about something? How can you shift that energy into something fierce yet nurturing? This will... You pay attention to what's going on, okay? Because there's more than meets the eye. And I feel like that's what the, the truth card was about too as well. Um, about speaking your truth, okay? And telling everything, the truth in the story, okay? Because there's more going on than, than you see. There's a change that's happening here in your life. A major change. We knew that already, okay? We got these cards out here, okay? There's a major change that's going on. And, and, and it's time to embrace these things, okay? Let's see. Do I have any more? Let's get you an Angels of Abundance. And then I'll get y'all a positive affirmation, and then you guys can go. <laughs> Oracle message for... My positive energy views. 
All right, let's see. Oracle message for my positive energy viewers. What is the message for them today? Whoa. I'm going to take this first one that flew out. It says positivity, faith, and optimism. All right, you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow a negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Keep the faith and keep going. Because you're on the brink of something amazing here. Something super, super dope. I don't know what you're working on, but it's something that you're creating here that you're giving birth to that's going to be great out here. So let's get... A positive affirmation card. Oh, look at that. Today I am receptive. Today I will let go of the past. I will live in the present. And I am looking toward a bright future. Excuse me, forward two. But I just put two and forward together. Today I am receptive. Today I will let go of the past. I will live in the present. And I am looking forward to a bright future. So, you guys, this is the message that I have for y'all today. I really hope that this has helped you in some kind of way. I hope it has brought you some kind of clarity or some kind of inf insight or, you know, confirmation or even just for some entertainment, okay? I hope that this helps. Remember that God loves you. I love you. And if y'all don't do anything else, dream big. Wake up. Do it.